all praise you to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Makakadash, Yabalani to the apostle and the elders of great millstones, and Shalawam to the elect of the nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson on how if we're praying to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai with the Lord's Prayer, well then we can't complain or we shouldn't be vexed. If we're not rich and if we only have daily bread, because that's exactly what we're asking for, all right? That's exactly what we're asking for when we call upon the Lord using the Lord's prayer. And I'm going to go into it. This is Matthew chapter six and verse nine. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we are to forgive our debtors. So verse 11, it says, give us this day our daily bread and that where you're not rich and you're not poor, but you have enough to make it through each day. Whereas sometimes it can get annoying when you might think that your finances are not where you want them to be and you want to have just a little bit more, a little bit more um, security or a little bit more of a, of a like less fear or less anxiety regarding money, man. But what we're asking for the Lord, asking from of the Lord, when we say the Lord's Prayer, is exactly that. We're asking for we're not, us to not be given too much or too little, just enough to get us through the day. Verse 12, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And let me just go into verse 13 and lead us not into temptation. If we wish to get more than daily bread. You would definitely be led into temptation, man. A lot more women that are, are extremely attractive would come around us, and extremely attractive women are all, can also be very demonic women, which would lead to more and more problems in our life. More, more, more finances can also lead to people having envy towards you, and people might want to harm you, might want to rob you, might want to try and steal your finances from you. So by us be only being given daily bread, we're, we're less of a target and we're less um, on the radar of people that are in this world. We're just looked at as though we're nothing. We're looked at as though we're bums. Whereas if people knew that we had large finances, they'd want to want, want to try and come at us and, and attack us for these things to try and take these things away from us. Verse 13 again, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And money can be evil, even if you are not evil with your money. Other people can be evil because you have money, because it leads to envy and leads to covetousness, where people are going to want to take these things away from you. People are going to try and position themselves around you to try and take these things away from you if you have money. Let me carry on. Verse 13 again, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And all we're hoping for really is for us to be in the kingdom of heaven to where now our way that would that benefits us is the way that the world is run by whereas right now esau has got everybody everybody following a way that benefits them so that everyone's everyone's sneaky everyone's deceitful everyone's aggressive and violent and that that, that way of being is a way that benefits esau because he's the most deceitful person he's the most aggressive he's the most violent person on the earth and his blessing is the sword so if people want to try and live that way, he'll be able to win every time. Whereas the way that we're going to be living, although it's going to benefit us most, it's going to benefit everyone else as well, because it's the ultimate way to live upon the earth. It's the ultimate way. And I'll end the video there. All praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakaa Kodash, Shabbalanis to the Apostle and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawan to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalawan.